Well, this is a pretty ridiculous spot to call camp for the night. Got a crazy view and the sun is gonna set pretty much right down the center of that, which is gonna be very nice. I'm very excited for that. I've actually been on the coast for about six days now. Started up around Cannon Beach and I've just been working my way down south. It's been a combination of some pretty crazy weather. It'll be sunny like this. I got a t-shirt on. It's beautiful out and then 10 minutes later it's super windy, fog rolls in and I'm in like three layers huddled up freezing. So it's been really crazy conditions. It is February so it's still winter for sure and usually this time of year it's raining out here on the coast but I got hit with a, a week of sunshine and partly cloudy weather, so I packed up the Jeep and headed out from Salt Lake, and it's been a lot of fun so far being out here. Big shout out to my buddy Aiden for hooking me up with the coordinates for this spot. I'll link his Instagram somewhere up here and then down in the description. He's got a, a crazy 80 series Land Cruiser that he built out, and his rig is insane. And he was actually supposed to come out here, but work tied him up, so he was nice enough to still send the coordinates. Uh, so Aiden, if you're watching this, thanks, man. Also really excited tonight. This will be my first night sleeping in the new iCamper SkyCamp Mini 3.0. I think it's supposed to come out within the next month or two and the guys over at iCamper sent me one early. And yeah, really excited to get up in there tonight. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get the tent open and get some dinner going. So I screwed up a little bit with dinner tonight. I, one, forgot to put the onion in, and two, 
I guess for some reason I thought one of those little things of heavy whipping cream was one fourth cup when it's actually a full cup. So the pasta came out very creamy and a little shade of pink versus a red sauce pasta. Still tastes good though. So gonna sit down, eat, and uh, maybe throw the drone up for sunset.
Morning guys, it is around 9 30, 10 o'clock right now. Just got done making some coffee and been a, a pretty slow morning. As you can probably hear, the wind is starting to pick back up. Last night after sunset, the wind died off and then slept pretty fine till around 4 a.m. And then all of a sudden the wind was howling all morning till sunrise. I will say though, this tent, first impressions, way more comfortable than the Sky Camp 2.0 mini. Whatever they did to the mattress, you can definitely tell a difference. I also think it's quieter just because it was super windy. I feel like they kind of minimized everything on the exterior and just simplified the whole tent to make it, I guess, as quiet as possible. And yeah, pretty nice first night up in the tent. Now I'm going to pack up and head out. I was gonna do breakfast up here, but some clouds are rolling in and the wind's picking up. So I think I'm gonna head down and just continue down south on the coast and go head out to this beach that you can actually drive on. I haven't been there before, but it's supposed to clear up today and I'm excited to check that out. So I'm either gonna be there today or if it's cloudy, I'll probably go back tomorrow and cook some breakfast on there and hang out for the day. So I will see you guys in a bit.
today has been pretty much as perfect as a day I could ask for on the coast. This is by far the best weather I've had during the day since I've been out here. And it's just, it's absolutely perfect right now. I've got these crazy yellow flowers behind me. The ocean right here, the sun is out. There's a little bit of wind, but nothing crazy. And I literally have seen one other car pass me in the last three hours. And I saw a couple walk by with a dog and another couple biking, but that is pretty much to the extent of the amount of people I've seen today, which is awesome. And <laughs> one of the huge benefits of coming out here during the off season for sure. I can't camp on this beach, I wish I could, but behind me the water line reaches all the way up to the dunes, so I don't wanna be stuck out here at high tide would, would not be fun. So could uh, hang out for a bit, nap, and then my plan is to head down south towards Samuel Boardman, hopefully be able to get a hike or two in. I have this spot that I've been to before down there that I really wanna film at and set up a hammock, and you've got this crazy view of sea stacks as far as you can see, so. Hopefully, I'm doing it in the sun and not the rain, but I will uh, I'll check in with you guys soon.
heading out on the final sunset hike of this trip. Really sad to be leaving, but also very excited to get back and edit this drone footage. I don't think I've been this excited about drone footage in a really long time. It's been a crazy seven days on the coast. Been up for sunrise every day, seen every sunset, and got really lucky with some crazy conditions. I've kind of had every type of weather Oregon has to offer with wind, rain, it's been cloudy, it's been sunny, cold, hot, just a little bit of everything. But before I head down to the beach for sunset, I do want to give a big thanks to the video sponsor, and that is Jackery. Jackery has been a leader in portable power solutions since 2012. They have power stations ranging from their larger 2,000 watt hour batteries all the way down to their super small and portable 160 watt hour units. I personally have been using the Explore 1000 for quite a while now, and this has been the perfect middle ground for me for size to watt hour ratio. I don't run a fridge or any major appliances off my Jackery. For me, the main function is to be able to charge my photography and filmmaking gear. Being able to charge my drone, camera batteries, and my laptop so I can edit and back up footage on the road has been really great. The Explore 1000 comes with a 1002 watt hour lithium battery with a 2000 watt surge. This just means that you could run a fridge off of it, you could run a blender, you could even run a TV if you really wanted to, but for me, the main use is for photography and filmmaking gear. It has two USB-C ports, two USB-A, three AC outlets, one DC carport, and it weighs in at 22 pounds. You can charge the Explore 1000 using a wall outlet, your car's 12 volt, or a solar panel. I've mainly been charging my Jackery with the 100 watt solar saga panel for the last month. This is great because it's super compact, easy to set up, and there's no third party wires required to connect it directly to the Jackery. Jackery also just launched their Canadian website at the beginning of this month, and in order to celebrate, they're offering 10% off to everyone when you use the code JackeryCA. So make sure you guys visit Jackery.com to get some gear of your own, and big thanks again to Jackery for sponsoring this video.